everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Laura and today I'm here with my boyfriend Lean and hey. his, boy bro <laughs> his boyfriend <laughs> His brother Sheen! Yeah, hi. I'm brother. <laughs> and today we are have we are going to do a really fun video. I'm going to make Lin and Sheen guess what certain abbreviations and slang words mean in English. Mm -hmm. Because as you might know or might not know, they are both Japanese, half Japanese, half Taiwanese. So they learned English in school. And what you learn in school is not always the same as what you learn in daily life or if you talk with friends. So I thought it would be really funny to let them guess what some famous slang words and famous abbreviations mean in English. So without further ado, let's jump right in. <laughs> okay. So for our first abbreviation, I thought it would be a good idea to start out with something easy or like very well known you could say so for the first one we are going to start out with ASAP ASAP yes. yeah I know this one actually you know that one? Yes. <laughs> he's so proud of himself <laughs> <laughs> Shane okay what do you think it means? ASAP mm -hmm. um, as a personal <laughs> as a personal? What? <laughs> And what kind of situation would you use that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really difficult. Okay, Lin then, can you tell me what ASAP means? It stands for as soon as possible. Yay! Yeah! So smart. <laughs> no, but if you don't know this abbreviation, you might think it's kind of um, the name of logo or something. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. They even write that a lot on like... Um, Logos and pictures. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, Shin, so you learned something new today, right? Yeah. Yay! I can use ASAP now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and for our second um, abbreviation of today, I have F O M O, FOMO. <laughs> this is something that that that, <laughs> that most FOMO. younger people will know. FOMO. Younger people would know. Mm -hmm. So if you ask like the people from from my dad or mom's generation, they probably won't know, oh. especially if they're not native English speakers. From, do you want me to give an example? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, so um, oh, did you hear Jessica is also going to that party on Friday? Ah, oh, yes, I really want to go. The other person says, "Hmm, I don't know," and then the other girl says. Oh, don't you have any FOMO? Like fear... Uh oh! <laughs> don't you have any FOMO? Like... What no, I still mean? don't get no? it. No? And not any clue? Mm. I'll give you one clue. F stands for fear. Yes, yes. That's what I'm start guessing. Cause it's yes. Said it. Fear of... Fear of... Fear of what? <laughs> fears of mother's outrage. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Fears of mother's yeah, outrage. Because if you go to the party, your yes. mom will be angry. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'll tell you guys. This means fear of missing out. Ah. Like, okay. you really want to be there too. Yeah. You don't want to be excluded, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I thought you would have known this one actually. No, never used it. Interesting. Okay, for our third abbreviation, we have. Mm -mm, no, <laughs> <laughs> we have, let me see. Oh, TGIF. Like the famous Katy Perry song, if that rings a bell. TGIF. T T G I F. Yes. T T T G I F. <laughs> Sounds like kind of programming language. Shin, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it could mean? T G I L. Tail girl. I don't know tail girl information. <laughs> <laughs> you get one more. Well, tail girl the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be a good one. Does that work? T G. I yeah, if you make the like PH into F, then... PH? Yes, P because the phone is PH. 
Uh, it's actually pronounced F, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, really smart. We have a genius right here. Yeah. Two geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as I said before, this has to do with a really famous Katy Perry song. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... You'll, I'll, you, I'll show it to you later, but it means Thank God it's Friday. What? Last Friday night. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you know that? No. Do you even use that yes. in conversation? Yes, it's like, so... oh my gosh, I'm so tired from working all week. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF. Like, thank God it's Friday, I can understand that, but yes. you don't have to make it into the abbreviation. Like, people in texting use that, I guess. <laughs> okay. Like, in, in, in conversation also, if you have like those snot people, like TGIF, okay. like that kind of, you know. <laughs> okay, so again, the Korean guess it. It's getting more and more difficult actually. More and more difficult. I even never heard of them. Really? Yes. Yeah, okay, next one you should know. Definitely you should okay. know. Okay, so our next abbreviation is XOXO. Or XOXO XO 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 <laughs> Really long. But normally XO XO. Well, that? I think I know the meaning, but I don't know what why it's XO XO. XO XO? Shin, do you know the meaning? I don't know, XO XO. Really? No! Do you want me to demonstrate it? Yes. Okay. Ah! <laughs> it means that. <laughs> no? Why XO? <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I've been thinking as well. So, Why XO? XO, because your lips look, what I assume, a little bit like X shape and like O hug from your arms making a circle. XO, XO. That's so It's special. like kisses and hugs. It's like. Many people end their messages with that or there's even a famous series called Gossip Girl and at every end of the episode I would say XL XL Gossip Girl <laughs> like that <laughs> Interesting, they didn't know that one even but we have one more abbreviation left before we jump to the slang word so let's see about that Okay, so our last um, abbreviation I'm going to give them an easy one this time so you should be able to guess it if you don't know this one then you're really city boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our last abbreviation is DIY. <laughs> I, <laughs> I heard this somewhere, but what? DIY. DIY. A DIY project. A DIY store. DIY project. DIY. DIY. <laughs> Do it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> do it yesterday. You're really close. You're really, really, really close. It's do it yourself. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> like, ah. Right. <laughs> do it yesterday. That's a really good one, actually. Yeah. So that's all of the abbreviations for now. So let's jump into our slang words. Maybe they are a little bit better at slang. <laughs> okay. So for. Let me come a bit closer. For our um, slang words, no peeking. <laughs> I chose a few that I use myself, that I hear frequently in like videos, for example, or that are just really, really popular and most people know about. So, yeah, maybe not these two though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our first slang word or um, phrase is couch potato. Ah, okay. What does couch potato mean? Xing, up to you. Couch potato. What's a couch potato? Couch potato? You're a total couch potato. <laughs> I'm a total couch potato. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. What? Can you make an example of that? <laughs> okay, so imagine Ling lying on the couch, playing a phone game, drinking his milk tea, and just being super, super lazy. That's already the answer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> kinda, yes, kinda. So a couch potato is just someone who's lazy, a lazy person. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. No, uh, you don't know? Yes. That's a really, really famous one, couch potato. Couch Remember, potato. okay? <laughs> okay, our next slang word is... Oh, not looking, no looking. Um, I feel you. I this one as well, I think. You do? Yes. Shin. I can get something, but... Shin, get something, please. I 
feel something. I feel you. Yes, I feel you. Does that mean I know you? <laughs> <laughs> close, close. Honey, do you want to take a guess? Yes. Uh, it means I understand your feeling, right? Wow! One point for me. Amazing. You know, that's amazing. Yeah, yes. really? this one is not really hard. Like, yeah, like you hear this a lot yes. actually. So I feel you means I understand you, I understand your feelings, I sympathize with you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I I knew in the the Avatar movie they use this word. Oh uh, really? Yes. Huh? That's so cool, I didn't know about that. <laughs> but I can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you just go with the yeah, flow. Yeah, you I feel, feel it. I feel, you feel it. it. <laughs> <laughs> then next up, let's see. Should we go for a difficult one? Difficult, easy, <laughs> or medium? Well, let's go like gradually. <laughs> gradually, okay. A little bit more difficult. Um, how about spill some tea? Spill some tea. <laughs> yes, yeah, spill some tea. Does that mean literally spill some tea? No, this is all figurative speech. Spill some tea. Spill some tea. Let's spill some tea. <laughs> Or something like you go to restaurants and you don't like the dishes they serve and then you're like let's spill some tea which means like we just totally can accept this meal or something get out here and what do you do then with spill some tea what do you do <laughs> you literally spill it <laughs> <laughs> no shin do you have any id um to tell a lie or something oh not necessarily a lie you want me to tell you what it is? The hint. The mm -hmm. hint? Yes. Okay. Um, this, one, this is difficult. Let's spill some tea. It has to do with talking. Such a great. <laughs> <laughs> We're good at giving tips, aren't I? Oh, probably it's like something. Well, um, you try to let people get some quiz, but you've already said the answer out of blue. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's spill some tea. Let's means let's have a little gossip chat, you know? Ah. Like Uwasa. Yes. Uwasa yes. you? Gossip. Yeah, not necessarily bad, but also not really good, you know? Okay, so let's go one level higher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is on fleek. What? On fleek? Yes, on fleek. <laughs> Not net freak? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's spelled O N on F L E E K. Fleek. I don't even know. Does it mean like freak? You freak? No, no, no. Then not for freak with an R. <laughs> L. Fleek. Like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like. Like this kind of feeling, like, oh, on fleek. You know? On fleek? On no, fleek. On fleek. <laughs> on fleek. Like, look at me, I'm so attractive. Close. Oh. Close, Shin. What could that be? Mm. No, look at me. <laughs> Little bit that meaning. On fleek means something looks really good. Like, oh my gosh, look at my hair, it's on fleek today. Like your hair is really has a really good day. Your hair do is really nice. Or oh my eyebrows are totally on fleek today. So you you drew your eyebrows and they look amazing. It's kind of that meaning. Or like your outfit is on fleek like that. <laughs> Interesting one. Just yeah. like my hair today. It's on fleek. Today I'm no mystery. Interesting one. Just like my hair today. Okay, so let's do two more. Are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to leave the diff most difficult one as last. Mm -hmm. So next up we have lighten up. Lighten up. Lighten up. Lighten up. Lighten up. Same light as light bulb. <laughs> Shin, for you first. <laughs> lighten up. Lighten up. You're ruining the mood. 
What? What did you say? Lighten up, you're ruining the mood. Ah, okay. I can guess from that. Mm-hmm. Ah... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I... I can understand that. Yes. How would you explain that after understanding it? <laughs> uh-huh. Um... When someone didn't talk a lot, then you can say this word, right? Yeah, 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 yeah for example. So... Make... More... How to say? Not... Pod it to make it positive? Yeah! It's that, honey. Can you tell them, like, a definition? Definition, uh... I, I to lighten up means to... Means to... To... Turn the mood of the situations better or something? Yes, yes, yes. It means to cheer up. To cheer up? To cheer up. Oh, really? Yeah, to, to become a little bit more happy. Like, don't be so down, don't be so sad, or don't be so upset. Cheer up. It's okay. Not cheer oh. up like you want to you want to support someone on, on, on the sports game. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's cheering on. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. To cheer up means to become a bit more happy, a bit more positive. Mm -hmm. And I'm cheering you on means like to do ah, like this. Okay. <laughs> That was a difficult one, right? Mm -hmm. yes, 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 Shin, you worked hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I left the most difficult one for the last. And there are two varieties actually that people oh. often interchange however they want, however they feel. Okay. So our last uh, slang word for today is I'm down or I'm up. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I know what I'm down one. No, what's that mean? Down, right? Yes. D O W N. Yes. What does Down. that mean? It means I feel so bad today. Like, I'm a bit melancholy. Is it? Melan mel melancholic? I don't know how to pronounce that. Yes. There's a meaning like that, but not in this case. Mm -hmm. That's a different usage of the word. Ah, okay. Today I feel so down, I'm so down. That means what you said, but yes. I'm down. This means I'm, I'm down. I'm down for going to the party. Invitation or something like that, and I'm up as well. Are you up for it? Yes, I'm done. What does this mean, Shin? <laughs> you don't know? Yeah. <laughs> She's just being flustered completely. Like, <laughs> you see, like in a total new world of English. <laughs> so, I'm up or I'm down for something means that you want to go, you want to participate, you want to do it, or listen to it, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just another way to say I'm going or yeah, I'll be there or something. Mm. You know? So, are you up for a party on Saturday evening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally am. Is what you could say. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really difficult because I still remember when I was at university and I actually asked my friend to go out mm -hmm. together and ask them, "Oh, okay, so are you coming or not?" And they say, "I'm done." I was like, "So you, <laughs> you guys are like Refuse me without saying something. You said I'm down. That's what you said. Yes. Uh. <laughs> yes. But I, I can I can understand what they're talking about. Yes. And I even asked, so are you coming or not? And they said, yeah, I'm up to. And I was like, yeah, probably it's positive because they say up for something. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That story. Yes. I'm so down. That's why I know this. <laughs> you learned a lot. <laughs> Okay, so that were all of the slang word, like slang phrases, slang words, and abbreviations I had today for you guys. So how was it? Was it really difficult? Yes. Yeah, for me it's really difficult. Yes. Did you learn a lot? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe next time I can teach you some useful ones. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little, um, yeah, guessing what certain abbreviations and slang words means kind of video. Uh, leave me a comment down below whether you knew any of them or not, and um, if you guessed them correctly or what you thought they would, would they would have meant. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, say bye here, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 <laughs>